How did they go? Uh, it went great. Learned a few things that I didn't know. Uh, working with Coach Nose and Coach Coy went great. Arbella, you already had an Ohio State offer, but yet you decided to come down and camp anyway. What kind of spurred that decision, and why did you want to come down here? Just to get a feel of how um, the coaches are, like coaching. Learn some things uh, from great coaches. Coach Knowles got a great legacy. Just wanted to pick up a few things from him, pick his mind a little bit. How's that relationship come along with you, Coach Knowles? Do you feel like you're starting to build a pretty good relationship with him? Yes, sir. We're uh, in contact uh, pretty often. Me and Coach Knowles are real close. He coached my father as well. How often would you say you are in contact with him? Every two days, every day. What's Coach Knowles tell you about if you were a Buckeye, exactly how you'd be utilized? What do you play? Oh, he see me as an inside linebacker. He see me um, listening up the edge on third downs and first, second, and uh, fourth inside linebacker. If you start scheduling any of your official visits, you can wait for the fall for that. No, sir, I'm going to do all um, officials after um, my season. What, what is Jim Knowles like on the practice field? Um, real intense, real intense. Mess up, raise his voice, let you know what you did wrong. So real intense. Did that surprise you at all? Or? No, sir. No, sir. Is that kind of like what he gives off when he talks to you? Yes, sir. Real serious. So now that you've worked out at Ohio State, do you have any other plans the rest of the rest of the month of June to, to get anywhere else? Uh, we're basically on a bus tour. So after today, we're going to Michigan. We've already been to Alabama, Pitt. Tennessee, Tennessee State, Alabama a and So you're on a bus tour. After this, we're going to Michigan, and then after that, Toledo. When's probably the next time you get back to Ohio State? Um, I'm not sure. Definitely uh, plan on taking the official. How about a game? Yeah, definitely. That's the first, ain't the first game like a night game? Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Yep. <laughs> how, how did your recruitment change after you got to Ohio State? It feels like you're become a little bit more of a hot commodity. Um, yeah, it was... It picked up like real quick. I got Penn State, Michigan, Nebraska, Iowa, like right after. So, I mean, it was it was great getting that. They've been recruiting me since I got to Glenville in December. So, getting that offer that early in my recruitment it was, it was, it was great. Did that change how maybe you were approaching things? Obviously, it was the world before you get to Glenville, now you got to Glenville. Has that changed how you were going to approach this at all? Yes, sir. It changed my whole mindset being at Glenville. There's great people there lead me in the right direction. Building me, building me to be a great man, so changed my whole like idea, everything. Hey, you know, like the history of like, getting real in Ohio State, those guys that come from I've been playing for Glenville since I was five until I was 12, and I switched programs and I'm back. Who would you say is recruiting you to Harvard? Some of the schools. Um, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Cincinnati, uh, West Virginia. Arvell, how much do you and Bryce talk about potentially teaming up in college one day, whether it be Ohio State, somewhere else, anything along those lines? Um, me and Bryce, we talk all the time. We're always excited about all the opportunity we got. We always talk, like, just talk and just be like, wow, you really, like, feel me. It's, it's great having all these opportunities. We definitely will want to team up in college. It seems like you've really come a long way the last couple of years, both academically and both on the field. Like, how much did it really mean to you to put that work in and finally see your work pay off to get that Ohio State offer in the spring, even though it might have been a little later than you wanted it to come? I mean, it's great. Like I said, ever since I got to Glenville, it's been nothing but blessings, good grades, all the opportunities I got, of course, and just being leaded and mentored by all the great people that's there, Coach Mo, Coach Ginn, JG, Raz, just great people. All great people there, coffee, all the guys. You said uh, that Jim Bell sees you as an inside linebacker. What does he like about your play that made him want to give you that level of attention? Um, sideline, he basically told me like sideline to sideline, quickness. I mean, the way I, uh, he, he actually told me like, how do you say it? Like, okay, we're like, we're this distance. Yeah. Like, closing ground with quickness, basically. Yeah. Sir. And and one of the things that people, or that Jim knows is known for is versatility at the linebacker position. He said he likes, you know, a positionless linebacker. And I'm and I'm curious, is that something that you, you like to play? Is that something in your wheelhouse where you can play? I mean, obviously, you start on the inside, but you have the responsibility of an outside linebacker, or maybe even like a, like a nickel cover safety, you know? I mean, he has his... Uh, or even a defensive end. Do you do you like that versatility? Is that is that something that you see yourself doing? Yes, sir. I like being all over the place. Definitely like being all over the place. Come off the edge, blitzing, sitting in coverage. I like that. Arbel, what's the most appealing thing about Ohio State to you? Like, what what's if you end up deciding to go there? What's the biggest reason why you picked the Buckeyes? I would say relationship. Like I said, that's the school that's really really recruited me the most. So relations and just it's Ohio State. I mean, I'm from Ohio. Been playing for Glenville since I was five. So. 
it's Ohio State. I mean, what else can you say? So you know the, the history there. Is there any pressure from anybody to like, hey, you know you could go to Ohio State and continue that legacy? Like, is there pressure there? Um, there's definitely a lot of pressure there. <laughs> definitely, a lot of guys remind me all the time, like, hey, you go to Ohio State from Glenville. Which is what you do, right? Yes, sir. Um, Ar Arvell, um, obviously, you said you're gonna wait it out, take your officials after your season. Um, any sort of decision timeline on when you want to actually make a commitment? Um, it would definitely be late since my recruiting like pretty much started late. So it would definitely be late, probably November after the season, somewhere around there. November, December? Yes, sir. You think it's possible it could get pushed to February if need be? No, sir. It would definitely be around It'll November, be done December. By November, December.